Burgo Lippy here. It's the final Saturday of July. I'm out here before lunchtime videoing at an estate sale of some motorcyclist friends of mine in the estate. And this was one of their practice tracks where you see the tires around just a little. Uh, I'm not sure what the length would be, but I wanted to film their grandpa's uh, bought a brand new motorhome back in the 50s. And I asked about it when I was at the estate sale looking at the motorcycle parts and I'm not going to film the indoors uh, of the motorcycle parts but they said well his motorhome's still here so I said can I take a picture of it and here we are it's a I think it's 50s I remember seeing it in 72 I think it was and so they would go to the motorcycle races and the events in this it could have been out west and maybe to Florida and back and I've just never seen another one. I've looked it from front to back looking for a make. And all I can find is it says Dodge. But someone has taken the chassis and built this. So it was some um, custom built, you know, how they do like a, a Winnebago or something on a Chevy chassis. This is a Dodge. It almost has like a, a window from a house. So this would be the graphics that was on it when it was new kind of neat I can walk through here and some heating and cooling fully functioning motorhome and then in, in the 50s you know who had the money to buy stuff like this he very well off to do it for the time the bottom so this is all extruded aluminum because there's no rust anywhere and there's maybe dual wheels here the engine in the front a cab over design uh, it has that hump in the back which was uh, I've seen that before I, I thought it had a bullet shape to it I knew it, it looked like a spaceship when I seen it when I was a kid and people had sliding campers and travel trailers no one had a motorhome in the 50s okay unless it's built like a bus I mean unless you were like you know the king and that's who this guy was the grandpa so it has a little how they did this part a lot of lights everywhere red and white Kind of the, the regular mirror. Something was bolted there. Don't see where emblems were anywhere. So this is the headlight bucket like in the Kenworth of the day in the Peterbilt's. And the round headlights with the small ones. But yeah, it just says Dodge. So we're thinking it's a gas engine. And more aluminum. You know, that, that bus company, um, Flexible. Oh, it says something up here too. It says Dodge again. Now here's some clip-on motorcycle parts. I want, I want to climb up here, but not really. Almost a visor, but not a visor. And then, then again, these are windshields like out of a Kenworth. They were well. This is a Dodge out of a Dodge semi. You know, is that possibly in the 60s? This door stuck or locked here. I'm not gonna make any. It had a screen door, um, kind of the typical size, you know, the what was it, 28 inch motorhome size. The handle over here, die cast. Can we see anything in this shot? Yes, no, maybe. Uh, about like a, a, a Dodge cab over truck. These are bigger than normal, these push out. But just straight and flat, clear across the bottom. This side actually dips down, but um, for the engineering and the style, they went with that flat look. So it would look almost like a house or a building going down the road. There's no curvature over, the, you know, that's back when they had um, fender skirts. It looks like an eight lug wheel, a deuce and a half, two and a half ton chassis. A rack up here for luggage, almost for like horses and things for bales. But yeah, motorcycle, whatever event you were going to. The red, white, and then the chrome um, aluminum, shiny aluminum. Uh, kind of unique how they did the antenna, just kind of smack dab in the sweet spot. Is your AM and FM antenna? Dodge Motorhome. Um, possibly one of a kind you know I mean how many people really bought them when they were new and here we are 2023 
it has a uh, modern day looking drip rail here floats down kind of the lines here you have to build this stuff for vibration walnut trees growing up around it right here. The graphics are, I mean, it was sitting here um, since the 70s, I'm going to guess. But they had it to where you climb up through here. So there must be a rail underneath there and the furnace or refrigerator there. Fully equipped motorhome. I mean, only the rich and famous had this kind of stuff in the day. And then rounded here. And it has a number back here. I think it's 46 where they were in a club of some kind. Some backup lights for getting a spot at night time. Checking my camera to make sure it's working. And that hump in the back. And then luggage is here for um, propane, a tree growing up, a, a hitch, an exhaust pipe clear out the back. Um, probably an aluminum bumper, even without the storage. Yep. Fully aluminum. This is, says something about gas. And it just says, it said Dodge out here at one time, you can tell it's gone. Two windows in the back that maybe slide or something. There, there are screens there. And a number 46. Um, and possibly a, a club over here, Dodge again. So yeah, we're thinking actually Dodge did this for a couple years. Dodge got into the, it looks like a Dodge. I mean, an FMC. But somewhere, never seen another one. Watched a lot of vintage RV stuff. Been Airstreams an hour drive from here near a museum. This probably came out of Detroit or somewhere in Michigan. It's still setting here. You wear your furnace. Definitely one of a kind. It was one of a kind back in the day when it was new. And, uh, chance of a lifetime to video that I, I would say, you know, as monotonous as it seems. Thanks for watching. Poor Red Rippy.